everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hello, hi, nice to see you. How are you? I'm back today. Hello. <laughs> so, fun story. <laughs> it's always a good sign when I started with that. Fun story. The video that you're about to see, I filmed on Thursday, I think. Thursday? Yeah. It is currently Monday. Wow. <laughs> when I sat down to edit it this morning, I realised that I had made a boo-boo and had deleted the footage of me doing the intro. So that's what I'm doing right now. So this is the intro to the video. I didn't actually have to redo any of the makeup, thankfully, but I made a boo-boo and completely just deleted the intro and then emptied my recycling bin and never, never realized. And here we are. <laughs> So today's look is actually another look inspired by Scottish folklore because everyone seemed to love the Be Nye one which was really nice to see. Um, if you haven't seen that one I will link it above in the eye in my spooky season playlist. Um, so I thought it would be fun to do another one but maybe like a bit more of a nice one. Kind of. Yeah. It is nice. I like it. So today I'm going to be doing a look inspired by the Kelpies. So the Kelpies are mythological Scottish horse sea creatures um, here in Scotland. You probably have heard of the Kelpies because we have a massive statue of them here in Scotland. They're big, big silver horse heads um, that are really beautiful. Um, and so I thought it'd be fun to do a makeup look inspired by them today. I'm saying thought it'd be fun to do it. I've already done it, but you know, boo boo. <laughs> So just like the look that I did inspired by the Bean Nye, obviously I know more about the Kelpies than I do about the Bean Nye. Um, and obviously Kelpies are horses. I'm not gonna turn myself into a horse. I know that might disappoint some of you. I'm sorry. Um, but I was kind of more inspired by the shapes and their kind of like grandeur and the colors and the fact that they're sea dwelling and yeah, loads of like fun like bits and bobs. It is definitely more of like a glam kind of grand Halloween makeup. And it's a bit different to everything else that I've done. So I thought that was fun. So included some prosthetics in this uh, tutorial. So um, I think this is the first time that I've ever done like a silicone based prosthetic on my channel where you kind of bleed off the edges. I actually didn't have the correct solvent for my encapsulator, which is a bit annoying. So the blend on it wasn't as good, but it, it still looks good. It's, it's passable. I actually think it turned out really well. So I don't even know why I said that. It, you done good, Sky Pie. <laughs> As always, everything that I have used today slash on Thursday are gonna be listed down below in the description box as well as all of my social media links. Please make sure you go and give me a like and a follow on them and make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads because actually today, I know I said that I was editing this video but I'm also filming my last two spooky season looks which is kind of sad um, but I'm back at work this week so I have like no time. Um, I'm off on Friday, but Friday has been delegated for carving pumpkins and doing my sister's Halloween makeup. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is cover your eyebrows. So I do a kind of more detailed um, tutorial of this in my Medusa makeup tutorial, which I'll link in the eye above. Um, and now I'm going on, I'm starting with the prosthetics. So I actually bought these from an Etsy shop called Obsidian FX. Um, these are gills, but I thought they would look really cool over the eyebrow area. Obviously Kelpies are water dwelling, so they would have to have some sort of fin-like kind of thing. I don't know, that was just my thinking. So I just applied some pros to the back of it and then stamped it down where I wanted it. So I got a transfer of that glue applied the prosade to the prosthetic and to my skin let it dry so that it was clear and then i'm just placing the prosthetic down over it uh, prosade is a contact glue so you have to apply it to both what you're sticking down and the surface that you're sticking it to um, and just made sure that when i was positioning it the encapsulator which is the th kind of thin bit around the edge of the prosthetic was lying as flat as possible um, and it was even on both sides. Then I'm going in, uh, the kind of bleeding agent that was meant to be used with this was acetone. I didn't have any acetone and so I used nail polish remover instead because it has acetone in it. Um, but you just want to take your time, take a wee bit on a cotton bud, 
and use it to roll the encapsulator away from the prosthetic. Uh, I'm kind of rushing through it, but um, I don't know if anyone would ever want like a more in-depth tutorial, then I'm more than willing to do that. Um, and kind of once I had all the excess silicon off, that kind of helps to keep it like steady. Um, I went around and made sure that the edges were as smooth as I could get them, even though I didn't have acetone, silly sky pie. Uh, then I just powdered it down just to remove some of that shine and now I'm going in with the Kryolan Shimmering Event Foundation and Petal just because I wanted that super glossy look to my skin. Obviously Kelpies are in the water a lot and so I would imagine that their skin would look very kind of luminescent and ethereal looking. That's just my brain, maybe you think something else. Um, then I'm going in a mixed a grey eyeshadow in with my foundation. I uh, mixed it all up together and I'm applying this all over the face using a sponge. I didn't want anything too full coverage. I still wanted it to look like there was a skin tone underneath. Um, so I just applied this all over. I used a sponge to blend out so that it kind of sheared out a wee bit. And then I'm going in with a dark kind of indigo blue contour colour applying this just where I want it and then blending it out using a brush and I'm patting it down and then kind of blending it out a wee bit and then I went back in over with a sponge just to make sure everything was blended as seamlessly as possible. So I just applied this around the normal kind of contour areas of my face. I wanted to make my face look slimmer, just the usual, um, and kind of more angled. Um, so I applied it specifically down the nose. I tried to make my nose look kind of longer and thinner um, and a wee bit more upturned so I applied some of that contour shade underneath just the tip of my nose. Then I went and powdered everything and then I'm going in and reinforcing that contour with an eyeshadow of a similar colour. Just being really precise with it and kind of building the intensity up of it. Um, kind of focused it more on the outer perimeter of my face so that everything was being brought forward for that kind of longer face appearance because I've got quite a shallow face um, a big round head then I also took some of that colour down the sides of my nose again just to make it look nice and long and thin and applying it underneath the tip as well just to give it a more upturned effect and then I'm just using the same eyeshadow that I used as a contour on my eyes so I wanted my eyes to look really big so I'm gonna create a halo eye I just always think this makes your eyes look massive so I'm applying that dark shade on my inner and outer corner and then blending it into the center of my eye and I took this like right up underneath my brow so that was kind of like my like I aimed for that to be my crease um, I also took that colour underneath my lower lash line and smoked it out quite a bit. Again, I just wanted to make my eyes look as big as possible. Um, and then I took a lighter blue shade and blended that around the edges just to help blend it into that skin tone. Then I'm taking a shimmery, kind of icy blue on the centre of my lid. Um, I, I just think Kelpies would look very kind of innocent but like regal at the same time so I wanted to kind of give that vibe um, and so to give the regal vibes we went in with lots of shimmer uh, this is a pigment that I applied first with a glitter glue and then just patted that over the top um, this is from pastel roses everything as always is going to be linked below then I'm going in with the same colors that I used on my eyes and shading in the fins. I don't I don't know if they're fin they're they're um cast as gills but I kind of use them as fins. It's just, just you do you. Um but yeah went in with the light blue and then going in with that dark blue that I used as a contour and shading that. When you just use the same colours kind of all over your face as well as the prosthetics it just makes everything look more cohesive and like it's like at one with your skin and it actually does belong on your face and isn't just stuck on. Uh, then I went in with a silver pigment mixed with a wee bit of duraline and painted the edge of that prosthetic as well as kind of like that boning part in between the web areas. I don't know what they're called. Um, 
but yeah just kind of painted around the edges just to make them stand out a wee bit more and I stuck with a very cool toned colour scheme because the Kelpies their statue is like silver so I kind of wanted to emulate that then I'm going in with these I bought these last year from Tesco's um, they're like face gems I think they're meant to be used for a unicorn but I wanted to use it for these and plus they're super easy um, so yeah didn't really fancy sticking on all of these ones individually but then I continued to stick more gems on my face anyway so the kind of wee side bits I put at the top of my brow and then I applied some big kind of just silver gems the other ones that I got from Tesco are like AB so they shift different colours these ones are just more silver based but I applied this all down the sides of the fin uh, kind of tapering them out towards the bottom making sure that the smaller ones were at the bottom and I think I actually used a teardrop shape um, one at the bottom as well and then I also applied some silver glitter to the centre of my lid because I just wasn't happy. I didn't have enough sparkle on my face as it was. Um, then I went and did that to the other side and added that bigger gem on my forehead. And then I'm going in and tightlining my lower liner with a kind of silvery blue metallic shade from Urban Decay. It's gorgeous. Um, and just filling in the blanks with more of those silver rhinestones. Um, I don't know, I always think of Kelpies as very regal creatures and so I kind of wanted this to be like a crown, kind of. Or like, you know like when you, you're riding a horse and there's a bridle? Kind of like that as well across the brow bone. I don't know, maybe that's just my brain, maybe. Um, then I went in with a highlighter. I'm using a very silver toned um, white based highlighter because that will blend in best with the skin tone that I've got going on just now and just applying this all over my skin I really didn't shy away with this I wanted my skin to look that kind of wet way um, so yeah just applied it over my skin on the highest points of my face on my inner corner as well and I also applied some over the prosthetics just to make them stand out a wee bit more then I'm going in and lightly lining my lips with a grey liquid lipstick. I just did this just to define the outer edge just ever so slightly just to like make them look a bit more plump and full. Then I took that same grey liquid lipstick on a fluffy eyeshadow brush and applied it into the centre of my lips and blended outward. So even though I had lined my lips I wasn't I didn't want like a precise lip look but I still wanted there to be a fullness there. Um, and then I took that same silver paint that I used on the prosthetics and painted that all over my chest just to make my skin look that kind of grey castaway um, and look nice and shiny like I just popped up out of the water. Then I took that same silver paint over the top of that lipstick just in the centre just to make them stand out a wee bit more. And then I applied a big pair of falsies because horses always have the longest lashes and so I just thought, you know, this character's full out glam, so she would have the biggest lashes that she could find. And then just to finish it all off, I applied a gloss just all over my lips. Um, just to kind of, again, give that glittering kind of look in the sunshine. So there you have it guys, that is the finished Kelpie inspired makeup look. As always, everything that I've used today is going to be listed down below as well as all of my social media links. Please make sure you go and give me a like and a follow on them and make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. I will link the Etsy shop of the prosthetic seller down below if you want to go and check that out. Um, and I really hope you enjoyed this one. I think this one turned out really beautiful. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all next time for another spooky season makeup. Bye! big statue that's my statue <laughs> what a numpty it was going a spooky season was going so smoothly something had to happen something dearie me see i'm back back to the the not the future no that the, the future is tomorrow the, the past who's a numpty
Oh dear. So fancy today because I'm using actual prosthetics. Set up straight sky pie. Where'd you go? Oh, they're so thin. <gasps> when it crumbles. It was so nice of Adele to name a song after me.